Hi, I'm Mahesh Kama. Women have multitasking abilities. And if this potential of the women's brain is utilized properly, it's capable of tremendous energy. In this episode, I want to tell you about Tessie Thomas, a scientist appointed by Abdul Kalam, our late president, as the head of the Agni Missile Research Program. So you can see this woman created one of the most powerful destructive energy systems, weapon systems we've known. Please watch. Tessie Thomas is an Indian scientist and director general of aeronautic systems and a former project director of the Agni-4 missile in defense research and development organization. She's the first woman scientist to head a missile project in India. When Tessie was 13, her father suffered a stroke which left his right side paralyzed. Her mother, who was a teacher, remained a homemaker to look after the family in such dire conditions. She grew up near the Tumba rocket launching station and has said that her fascination with rockets and missiles began at that time. She was excited and even curious by the wonderment of aircraft flying. She has four sisters and one brother. She mentioned in interviews about her parents ensuring that their children received proper education and encouraging their siblings to pursue careers of their own interests so that they can excel. Two of her siblings are engineers, but another one is, has pursued MBA. She credits her hometown and her mother for her personal development. She said, I grew up with the pretty backwaters of Kerala as my backyard. I guess nature gives you strength and good thoughts. The power of nature cannot be undermined in one's development. About her mother, in interview, she has said, It must have been tough for my mother who was not allowed to work since she had to look after my father and still to look after us on her own must have been tough. Yet she made sure all her children had a good education. And I've inherited her strong will for sure. I'm equally persevering and determined like my mother. Tessie Thomas studied at the St. Michael's High Secondary School and St. Joseph's Girls High Secondary School in Alipi. She had a natural flair for mathematics and physics. She scored 100% in mathematics during her 11th and 12th standard in school. She also scored more than 95% in science. She took an education loan of Rs 100 per month from the State Bank of India to study engineering from the Government Engineering College, Trishur. She also received a scholarship that covered her tuition fees, having been entered into the first 10 students of the merit list during her admissions. The loan gave her the courage to live in a hostel while pursuing a B.Tech. In both school and college, Thomas was involved in extracurricular activities which included political issues also. She even excelled in sports, especially badminton, bringing great recognition to her teachers and her college. She did an M.Tech in guided missiles from the Institute of Armament Technology in Pune, now known as the Defense Institute of Advanced Technology. She also pursued MBA in Operations Management and a PhD in Guidance Missile under DRDO. Tessie Thomas joined DRDO in 1988. She was placed in the Department of Design and Development of the New Generation Ballistic Missile Agni. For the Agni program, she was appointed by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Tessie was Associate Project Director of the 3000 km range Agni 3 missile project. She was a project director for Agni 4, which was successfully tested in 2011. Tessie was appointed as the project director for the 5,000 km range Agni 5 in 2009. The missile was successfully tested on 19th April 2012. She was appointed as director general aeronautics systems of DRDO in 2018. She is a fellow in various universities such as Indian National Academy of Engineering, Institution of Engineers, India, and Tata Administrative Services. She is married to Saroj Kumar, a commander in the Indian Navy, and they have a son named Tejas. Tessie Thomas received the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award for her contribution for making India 
self-reliant in the field of missile technology. She also received the Dr. Thomas Kungen Leadership Award at the Faculty of Management Studies, Institute of Rural Management, Jaipur, in 2018. So you see, what intelligence of a person is capable of achieving? My salute goes out to her and, my, and I have a huge respect for this particular woman. Thank you.